Hello and welcome. In this Code Wars JavaScript video, I'll be taking you step by step how I went about solving their bit counting challenge on CodeWars.com. This video is aimed mostly at the beginner levels as it is very straightforward, but it has an interesting aspect to it, which is the radix parameter that could be interesting to a bit more advanced of you as well. I solved this challenge in three easy steps. But before I start coding, let me explain the challenge. You're going to receive an integer and your task is to convert it to binary and return the amount of ones it contains. It's a really easy one and all you could do is add up all the digits and get your result. But I wanted to make it a worthwhile challenge, so I got more creative with it. So the steps are as follows. First, I needed to convert the string to binary, so I used a two-string method with a radix parameter. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not a string, it's a number. I converted the number to, to binary. Uh, then I got rid of all the zeros with a simple regex in conjunction with a replace method and sp then split it up into an array of strings. And to finish it off, I used a loop to iterate through the array and add all those digits up. So now that you know the steps you need to take, I do encourage you to go ahead and try to solve this challenge yourself as that's the best and I think only way to really learn and retain what you've learned. So as I said before, I'm going to start off by converting the number to binary by running a two string method on it with a radix of two. Radix determines how many unique di digits you need to use, you want to use, to represent all the numbers. So for example, the default is 10 because we use a decimal system. And binary is 2 because it uses only two digits, zeros and ones. Next, I want to get rid of all the zeros. So I'll use a simple regex for that. And I'll replace it with an empty string. And now I just want to split it up into an array of single digit strings. And it's really important that they are strings for later. So as I said before, the fact that they are strings is very important here because you can't add them up. If you do, they will concatenate and you'll end up with a string of ones instead. So because they are strings, I need to convert them, convert them into integers before I add them up. I'll quickly show you what happens when you concatenate strings though. So I'll create a new variable here so I can count all the ones. And here I will increase it by n over i. Let me return it now. And let's see what's going to happen. So as you can see, it concatenates ones uh, to the zero, not, not adding it up to it. So uh, it, just ne it just shows up next to it. And I don't know why there's like a zero here. That's beyond me. Um, but yeah, so that's how it works. Oh, it's because I didn't do G here. Yeah, so it should work properly now. Yeah, now we have just a string of ones. And this zero is just the first one that I assigned to this variable. So uh, what I want to do now is turn this into an integer. So I'm going to use a pass int method on it. And everything should be fine now. And it is. So um, that's it for this challenge. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you solved it yourself or what was the point in the challenge you couldn't get through. I'm always interested and I will see you in the next video.